Saturday there will be a big parade on the on the river. Uh, so it's going to be a military demonstration because it's the uh, it's 104th anniversary today uh, of the liberation, and uh, of course uh, having that. Uh, that military uh, parade will be an excellent uh, deterrence message for uh, for Russia, but uh, also for the Latvians to uh, to uh, celebrate that very important day and say that uh, tell the world that the country is free and it will stay free. So Canada is a framework nation. Uh, we work end to end with the host nation, Latvia, evidently, it's their country, but also with all the partners participating in the deterrence forces that is uh, present here in the country. So we have 11 countries participating, uh, including Canada. The military threat conventionally is a little bit lower than before because most of the, the, the Russian forces, they are involved in Ukraine. However, the, the, pr the presence and the, uh, the volume of, uh, of misinformation, of cyber operation is extremely present in the, in the country, in the region. So absolutely the deterrence force is uh, more um, uh, required and also the, the population here, they're, they're very worried. Uh, so having a, uh, multinational forces here help for the, uh, the, the, the locals and, uh, from uh, Latvia, Estonia and uh, Lithuania. The misinformation, and that's what we do with our public affairs officer, is to tell the truth. We don't try to influence the population by giving fa false messages. So that's the NATO uh, strategy on information, is to tell the truth as it is. And we uh, we, we did it, we, big NATO, and uh, including the uh, United States, by uh, giving as much information as possible. Sometimes we would have top secret information some for things that would happen uh, in Ukraine, and it would be on CNN hours after. So the, the information is, is tell like it is.